everybody for, you know, your interest and your focus. And um, I'm glad that you all didn't like fall asleep after lunch. Um, that lunch was was excellent. Um, and I tend to get like the itis after lunch. I don't know if anybody knows what that is, but most of us, you know, feel a little heavy. So hopefully we'll get a little light um, to finish out the day. And I want to thank everybody for just hanging in there. So just um, want to talk about um, a song, the power of song and singing and just getting our brains reactivated. Um, so I was a um, child of divorced parents, um, abusive parents. And I think it was because of their um, conservatism that they were raised with. So um, I've had to learn to kind of get over my past and my trauma through the power of singing and song. So when I approached Kimberly to come and talk about trauma and how it affects women with their money, um, I really thought that it would be great to help us to do like a release um, instead of talking about, you know, bad, 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 but also channeling the positivity and the good so we can uh, kind of float out of here when, you know, because that is possible. Um, how many people here do um, affirmations daily? I do um, affirmations like very inconsistently, but I'm learning. Uh, the one positive affirmation that I do for myself is I sing Monday nights with the Montpelier Community Gospel Choir. And that really raises my level of creativity, productivity, um, awareness. And I, I float out of practice uh, on Monday nights because we are just singing so um, intensely um, and intentionally that it's really, um, it, it, it really gives me joy. It takes me to that happy place. And so, um, today Kim is going to talk briefly about a word called epigenetics and epigenetics is powerful because it transforms your DNA cells. Okay. So what did my ancestors do with all of the oppression and racism? rejection. They sang. They sang. They hummed. They, that was the way that they were able to change their brains, change their bodies in order to get through that pain of uh, slavery. When they marched, Martin Luther King marched, they sang. They sang their way through their, their pain, their trauma. So um, trauma affects so many things, um, and it affects our ability to, um, to really just absorb knowledge, to um, really just move past whatever, uh, but it also affects our trajectory, our, our money, um, our healing. So if you don't know how to heal, and singing is one of those forms of healing, um, then you can't you can't move to the next level. So that's why we decided to do Money Matters, a woman's therapeutic journey to financial freedom, to take you on that journey. So when we look at singing, um, what does singing do? It, it's healing. It helps give you a creative boost. And also, like, when you listen to uh, classical music, you can't read, it's kind of small here, but uh, something called the Mozart effect. Um, it enhances your performance in cognitive tests. Okay, so music is very powerful. It actually changes the, um, the brain waves. So um, it also can tap into primal fear. You know, like, low tones can actually make you feel a little bit more afraid, like, uh, they, they've done studies with um, rock music, rap music, low tones actually can cause people to have um, a more negative 
it can have a more negative effect. And also babies. Babies know happy sounds. The, the high tones are a little bit more lighter. And babies actually have been known to respond to that. So this is how uh, music affects our brain. Um, it, it can actually wake us up, gives us those happy endorphins. Um, and, and it also can improve our sleep. And it releases the dopamine in our brains in order to, um, to make us feel lighter, happier. Um, and it also creates a feeling of well-being and positive emotions, such as background music. Um, I don't know if you notice the music when you're shopping in the grocery store. When you go to the gas station now, they play it at the pump. It, it's just really, it, to me, it's kind of annoying. But yeah, you just find yourself, you're singing along. Oh yeah, that's a song that I know. Yes, it is the worst. So, you know, you might want to bring those earplugs. Um, or, you know, just that's why I guess a lot of people want to shop online. They don't want to feel like they're being controlled. But still, you're still being controlled as a consumer. Kind of seems to be no way around that. So um, just want to talk briefly before we do uh, a small um, chant that I wrote. Uh, just talking about the energy of intentions. Um, it's basically a force of your will, okay? And you want to act with a clear mind. And Ray touched on a little bit about clarity. Uh, you have to believe in your worthability. Does everybody here believe that they're worth it? Are you sure? Because I really can't hear you. And shifting your belief through repetition. So, you know, continuing to do those affirmations daily, those positive affirmations. Uh, and then projection of positivity, the people, places, and things. So thoughts do become things through the power of manifestation. I do believe that. And I know personally from my own story, um, I came to Vermont 2017 in a very toxic relationship. And through the power of joining the gospel choir two years later we i'm here now yeah so um you know my story is i ha i was in a very toxic relationship i had had a nervous breakdown and i knew if i could just start singing again i would be healed so I, you know, I was like, oh, I heard this, this, there's this gospel choir. And then I started meeting um, the positive people that I know now. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, so I don't want to get all, you know, emotional. But um, yeah, hopefully this will be you today. You'll be floating out of here. I'm really hoping for that. And you'll be singing tomorrow in the shower. I really want this uh, this chant to resonate with you. Um, if I could just get a little water before we start. Um, can I have my, oh, she went to get it, thanks. Um, yeah, so my Montpelier Community Gospel Choir people, one, two, three, four, possible five, all right, cool. All right, so we're going to just do a small chant, and I'm going to ask everybody to give their best effort. It's a call and response. We're going to sing it a couple times, and then I'm going to introduce um, Kim in the essence of time. We want to get everybody here out of here on time. <laughs> So the power chant that I created is just very simple. I am powerful. I am beautiful. I am loving. And I'm going to rise to the top, top, top. Do you guys believe that? Yeah. Okay. So can you all like stand up? Yeah. Just, really just get into it. 
your body is your instrument when you sing. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have to be the best singer. You know, just put forth as much effort as you can. And I, mean, I promise you, this is going to wake you up and it's going to carry you through the rest of the day. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. I am powerful. So I just want to um, thank you for that. You guys did a beautiful job.